I can't believe not a single one of you noticed that I had a brew vlog without a corresponding bottle bottle vlog. Are you even watching? This is a porter that was going to be a vanilla porter, but then along came Heinrich. I never got around to bottling it. It was supposed to be bottled in April, I think. So, I'm trying out a real long extended primary only ferment. And since there's a risk of infection or autolysis or anything else making it taste bad, I'm using these bottles I don't like. So if it does taste bad, I'll just throw it out along with the bottles I don't like. Well, that was a bit frightening. Heinrich there was outside barking as usual so I opened up the door to call him in and I called him in and he still barks as usual because he's a dachshund you have to tell him everything two or three times to convince him and I saw this huge shadow flying around out there I don't know if it was a hawk or eagle hunting late or an owl but it was big enough to take him and it was circling this yard low probably 20 feet off the ground you were lucky buddy I get the feeling this camera's sensors dying it sure doesn't handle the same light as it used to and we're off Got a couple chicken wings boiling for the dogs, trying to get Heinrich fattened up so he won't get carried off by an eagle or an owl. Well, so far this bear smells and looks good. Didn't look like there was any infection to it. That bird of prey outside has me a little bit unnerved, and I can't remember what I was planning on talking about. Well, I finally got a... clue and figured out my nephew's a manager of a restaurant that probably serves wine so I looked it up and they do and asked him if he could save wine bottles for me and he can so I should have a supply of wine bottles that I can actually keep up now and the preacher and his wife who I had supplying me had to quit drinking for some reason. Heinrich sure is getting lovable lately. He's gone from being standoffish, always off by himself, to he comes in and wants to snuggle up right in my face. Trixie has her moments, which are usually after she's been denied her session with the ball long enough she gives up and then she'll lay next to me and snuggle this beer may smell good and not look infected but I'm not trusting it enough to waste four dollars of vanilla on it that I had planned to put in there I'll just make my first brew a vanilla porter so tomorrow's daylight savings time fall forward spring back Fall forward, spring back. I think daylight savings time is all a government conspiracy just to screw with us. I was in Walmart. My roommate's mother's got pneumonia from her latest bout of chemo. So she's on oxygen, couldn't go up to Walmart to get her yarn. So I had to get yarn, which puts, puts me near the electronics. And I checked out laptops and they had one that they dropped down fifty dollars so I went back and snatched it up good thing I did because they sold out in like two days it's a Sony Vio or is it Vio Vio yeah I think it's Vio 
It's a Sony Vaio. It seems to work pretty good. Doesn't need to do much, just be an e-reader and a run the beer program. Because they updated my beer program, it wouldn't work on my old 98 computer. But now I'm networked. So I can keep my porn on the other big computer and watch it on the laptop. I've really been tempted to make about nine little quick webcam videos a day and upload them every day. The sizer went almost completely dry, which means it's 16 and a half percent alcohol. I decided not to go bow hunting this year. I know you all thought I was a great shot, but not good enough for me. With the hot summer, I just didn't get enough practice in. What you were seeing was 20 yards, and I want to be able to make a 40 yard shot reliably. And without the practice, my neck just wasn't doing very good at it. it'll be cool next year and I can at least get some practice in the mornings and evening this year it never cooled off it was 80 degrees overnight I watched a PBS show on prohibition I didn't realize you could make wine during prohibition I did know that the big breweries were making malt extract so you could brew your own beer at home or you just take the buy some near beer throw some malt extract in it and some yeast and you got real, real beer I know about that because I knew an old lady who did that told me stories about it when she found out I was brewing but I did not know you could make your own wine at home during prohibition I'd have a lot of friends. Something else I, interesting I learned during that show was in the mid 1800s they were teaching crap about alcohol in the schools so that when those kids grew up to be adults they would believe that crap and vote for prohibition. Sounds kind of like global warming to me. I've had people who are supposed to be college educated arguing with me about plants producing CO2. They produce oxygen when they're growing in the daylight. They produce CO2 when they're at rest in the dark. And educated people don't know that anymore. 55 bottles of beer on the floor. Fifty-five bottles of beer.